A new study finds a link between newer forms of hormonal birth control and the risk of breast cancer. It found a small but meaningful increase in risk following the extended use of birth control pills, IUDs, and other forms of hormonal contraception. Before this study, the risk was mostly associated with older forms of birth control that had higher hormone levels. Dr. David Agus joins us to explain why the news is a surprise to many doctors. Dr. Agus, thank you for joining us from California this morning. So details first, please, and what concerns you most? Good morning, Gail. The, you know, this is 1.8 million women in Denmark. We're all on one health system, so we can look at their electronic records. And in these women, there were significantly higher cases of breast cancer in the ones who were on oral contraceptives and intrauterine devices that had hormones. Well, this is the first study that had shown intrauterine devices with hormones having association with breast cancer in large numbers. And obviously, with the lower dose of oral contraceptives, we thought there wouldn't be as much of a risk as the higher dose, but it turns out to be the same, about a 20% increase in breast cancer overall, 9% if you're on it for a year, and up to 38% if you're on it for 10 years or more. We know that studies have long established that exposure of breast tissue to female hormones is what causes breast cancer. So that's an established link. So what's the effect of this study? Should women stop taking birth control? No, with any drug or anything you take, there's a risk and there's a benefit, and you have to look at that. I mean, this is, in absolute terms, a relatively small risk. Mm -hmm. 100,000 women on oral contraceptives or, or this intrauterine devices, 68 breast cancers a year. If uh, you're not on it, it's 55, so it's a small increase. So you have to have a discussion with your doctor based on your family history and based on other factors to decide. Remember, oral contraceptives also lower the risk of ovarian and endometrial cancer, so there is a balancing act here. Does the age of the women matter? No question about it. And so obviously, younger women, uh, 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 you know, on oral contraceptives, but as you get older and you're on it for longer, the risk seems to go up. So women over 35 should have a serious talk with their doctor about whether they should still be on these oral contraceptives. And this is still an evolution. So it's going to be a discussion between you and your doctor. Dr. David Agus, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.